everyone, it's Justine and welcome to my organization series. This is episode 3 on inks and this ink storage method would probably be good for people who cannot afford to buy the really expensive ink organizers or who just don't have the space. Now I store my inks in three separate ways. Now this is my crafting area and over here to the side I like to keep these handy. And these are my mini inks. I showed these in episode one, so I'm just gonna go through this quickly and then I'll go into them in more detail without having the camera in my hand for camera shake. Here down below in my drawer, I have my essential inks. So these are my full distress ink pads as well as my black ink and my Versamark. So things that I need to have readily available that wouldn't fit in the top shelf there. And then these are the inks I use left off less often, which are in these drawers. So to take a look at my first one, these are the mini ink containers from Tim Holtz and this is where I keep all of my mini inks. I have them labeled on the side so I know which brand of inks are in them and which ones I want to use. These are the Altenew inks and Altenew inks are really great because they are layering inks. So I keep them all in here. They fit really nice and snug and don't move around. Um, these are layering inks which means they go from lightest to darkest shades. So it starts with the lightest, goes medium, dark and then darkest and in each shade they're able to be bought together and so I just store them exactly the same way. For my So Suzy inks I store them by color so you can see here I start off with purple and then I go into the greens and then teals and blues and I just arrange them sort of in a rainbow format and I have three of these really great ink bites to use and then lastly I have my Tim Holtz and I have to say my Tim Holtz ones I kind of just take and shove in. I don't arrange them by color really. I don't have a lot of them and I just grab what I need and then clean up quickly as I go. So they're not in any sort of particular order I would say um, because I don't have a lot of them. But I do like the fact that these Tim Holtz ink pads I can fit a sponge underneath them for blending purposes. That's really great. Uh, for this in my drawer I have my full size ink pads. I have them arranged in color family. Because I have to have them, I don't have the space to actually spread them out. I have to keep them like this. So I have my black and my Versamark. I have my yellows and oranges, my blues, pinks, greens. I have my neutral colors, my purples, and then I have black, white, and gray here. And again, I just have them like this because I don't have the space to leave them flattened out. And I don't have the space to have an ink organizer where I have them all in their own little shelf or something like that. So this is the best way so far that I've found is just stacking them in ink colors so all your yellows together, all your oranges together, etc. Here are my inks that I use less. If you know my card style, you know I mostly create my own backgrounds and things like that. I don't use ink in color a lot. So I have them just down here. These are my Stampin' or my Simon Says Stamp inks. I have my Stampin' Up in the back. I don't have them in any particular order, just in color family. And then I also have my gold and my silver ink for Christmas and things like that and that's how I store my inks that I don't use as often. I could probably actually, if I needed to downsize again, actually get rid of these inks, but overall I like having the colors if I need them on hand. So that's the end of today's organization tutorial. I hope you picked up maybe a couple of tips if you're a small space crafter or you need some other ideas on organizing your inks. Those Tim Holtz tins are probably the best things I've ever bought as far as inks goes. And I'll have more details and info over on my blog as well as all the supplies used as well as in the video description here. So up at the top you can click to visit my blog. Over on the right you can click to subscribe to my channel or you can click on the organization stamps and you can get taken to the stamps organization video from yesterday if you have missed it. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you tomorrow.